Hi everyone, I'm back with another um, layout video for you. Again, this is another 8 and a half by 11. No, or 8 by 11 and a half. That layout, anyway. Um, so, I'm just cutting up uh, my photos here. Um, it is. It was a landscape and a um, portrait photo. So I'm just cutting them both down to squares. And they're roughly going to be 4 by 4 squares. Um, I'm really happy with um with how they look. I do layer them on here, but then end up cutting them out again. Um, my trimmer is really not working great, and I didn't cut it um, in a straight line, and then I cut it with the photo. So I end up just leaving on the paper, but cutting them down. So this is what you'll see me <laughs> fussing with here. And these are two photos from my Scotland trip, again, because they're going to go on the reverse side of my Wallace Monument layout. So, as I say, I finally cut those all down. Um, just clearing up my desk there as I go. This piece of paper is from the, the background piece, is from the Quirky Kit. And I'm deciding I do want to use a bit of this wood grain. Or wood plank effect. I don't really, really know what you want to call it. Um, I do end up using my scissors to do it, but then I end up trimming it up anyway. So I've just got the bits out on my desk from the previous layout. Just trying to work out what I'm going to do here. Again, so I've gone through the Maggie Holmes um, pad, just trying to decide if I want to add anything else. Um, I have a sort of a tin in front of me where I keep um, sort of recently used pieces of paper. So just going through that, going through my other six by six um, pieces of paper. This is the DIY shop collection. So just going through here, seeing if I can pick out one of these papers, and I choose this kind of wood grain effect doily. And I just use that other piece of paper to cut around it. I do kind of then realise that it's a little bit too big because I haven't actually got enough room around it to layer so I do end up just hanging those over the edge a little bit. Um, I think I'm just, yes I'm still just going through my scrapbooks here seeing if there's anything else I can add around these photos. I did think about bringing the black in but then I thought mm, maybe that's a bit too dark. Um, I do end up then layering my photos on this this last bit of this Alison Craft recorded collection, I really like that piece of paper and I have used it on quite a few layouts. So I decided that's just going to add a pop of colour to this layout, so I'm going to go with the sort of brown tones and then the sort of turquoise. Here I am pulling out my doilies, trying to decide if I'm going to use a brown, um, a green or a cream, so I do just go with the cream one there. Just looking what else I've got in my bag. <coughs> Just straightening this up because again this is one of the pieces that I hand cut. I decide that I need to add some ink to the background before I start. So again I'm taking this classic tan Mr. Huey and my Route 66 which is a Tattered Angels ink. And I love the effect of that ink. It's just like a really, it's a grey but with like a grainy, blacky, gritty kind of look to it. It's really nice. Um, here I am just adding some sea foam. Um, high swap, swamp, swap. I don't know. I never know how to say that. Um, as you can see, that that is an October afternoon piece of paper. I think it's called Bonfire, if I remember rightly. I did um, show it during the quirky kit all that I did. So here I am just adding more ink over the layers. That's something I've started doing more and more. Here I am just taking the Glitz Design Curved Chevron and I'm using the Weathered Wood which has a blue tone to it and I decided to just add some roller stamping over that doily there. Um, it's a different effect to what I've done before. Um, quite like that. Again this is something I don't know, I don't know, I'm just doing more and more at the moment, just adding texture 
to the layer um you know to the layers as, as i'm adding them i've got so many stamps i need to pull out my actual stamps not just these um roller stamps so as i say i, I just think it adds a, a lovely texture so i'm putting these stamped doilies in and i really like that so i think that's something i'm gonna um, do again I, I do have a wood grain stamp i think that would look pretty pretty cool um i've even got a wood grain mask so maybe i'll just spray on some doilies but anyway <laughs> that's just me thinking about stuff i can do just put out a bit of twine there but it was silver tone which didn't really go this is my die cut box so i'm just going to look through here these are some tags that I cut out. I believe it was from a Maggie Holmes piece of paper. And as I said, like when I'd done my 30 layout challenge, I had a lot of scraps on my desk. So I just took out my Tim Holtz um, tag die and um, cut through my scraps. And actually I've used, I've used quite a lot of tags. I like them as a sort of layering piece. So yeah, that's definitely something that I'm going to do with some other scraps before I sort of chuck them out. I pulled out this Dear Lizzie um, flower die cut, um, which then took me to look at the Dear Lizzie polka dot party, and I decided that I'm going to cut out, I'm going to use this flower as a layering piece. So I'm going to cut two of those out to layer, and you know, the kind of theme of the layout, I say it's just two views of Scotland, and I kind of want to go with kind of the nature-y kind of theme. So, I am just gonna go off camera to cut those out so there I am just showing you um, where I've cut those out and layered them on so <clears throat> here I am just popping up some of those um, edges of those die cuts with some foam adhesive and I did add a little bit of this tape when I before I added those um, flowers in but I decide that I just want to do something um, in the bottom corner there just to balance it all out. So I do take out another one of those flowers, which I'm just fussy cutting here. It's actually off camera. Um, I also added a branding strip from the recorded collection by Alison Kreft, um, just just to go near that um, bottom cluster there. So I'm adding a doily, um, and this is one of the half doilies that I had on my desk, and I'm adding. That flower um, that I fussy cut. And I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here. I'm just fussing with getting that cut properly. Um, I do just cut a little piece of this turquoise off to bring that down to the bottom as well. Um, I'm really, really happy with how that, that looks, but I do just have to add a little bit of ink over the top. And then just adding a little bit of the sea foam. And I just think those three clusters work really well. I'm still trying to use these. Um, they're not my favourite, but I do end up adding um, a couple onto the layout. As I said, they're not my favourite, but I am trying to use them up. And again, it just adds some consistency across the um, you know the three clusters that are on this layout. Uh, this um, smaller layout is much more like my normal 12 by 12 style um, because there is a lot more layering um, and you know clustering so again I think you know my other layout that I done previously this was quite simple but you know it's kind of building up to getting used to this smaller size so but I really enjoyed doing this layout um, it didn't take as long this layout including the fussy cutting took about 40 minutes so yeah, I'm really happy um, with that. Just going through my letter stickers to put my title on here. I kept finding letter stickers that were the right colour, but then didn't have the right letters. Um, so that was a little bit annoying. So I believe I'm just going through my thickers here, and I pull out these ones that I've used um, on a couple of layouts now, trying to get them used up, because they're not sticking great. So... Just trying to use them up and the title of this layout is rolling hills 
because one of the images is of um, some stone sort of cottages with the hills behind it um, with some snow on and then the other is a close-up of the hills with like mist rolling over them um, snow-capped um, mountains so yeah I just wanted to sort of document that I do do the um, second part of the title with the Project Life um, stickers again and it really doesn't show very well on camera but in person you can see the word um, there so but it is just it's quite hard to read um, on the camera so yeah I believe that's all for this as I said it was really pretty quick to do um, oh no here I am just adding 2012 over um, to the side of that cluster so I'm just adding the date I just felt it needed something else and it just brought those stickers across those stickers, those stickers across um, just have to move a little bit of the foam adhesive to stick those down so yeah I'm really happy and I think the fussy cutting really works well on this just finishing it up by adding some of these sort of matte silver um, pearls I've had these in my stash again for quite a while so I'm trying to use those up and I just add three to each cluster so thank you very much for watching I will add some stills at the end of this and I'll be back with some more layouts later this week so thank you very much and have a good crafty week everyone bye